Hi everyone, my name is Joy for Judy and thank you all for joining me. I hope your day is filled with good surprises. I want to talk about giving your best. In life, sometimes we don't give our best. And I'm saying this because I was talking to one of my sisters earlier today and we was talking about the story of Cain and Abel and how Cain and Abel both gave an offering to God and they are brothers. And one of the brothers gave a better offering to the God, to the Lord. So in life, we should always give people our best. Sometime in life, we treat people the way we think we should treat them instead of the way God tells us to treat them. For example, the word of God says, how can you um, love me that you never see and, and don't love your brother that you see? I'm learning every day. The mercy of God is so good to all of us. Let us treat people rightfully. And I'm saying treatment because sometimes if we hold back and we have it to do, let us do it. Let's not think that one person deserves one thing better than the other because of a person's look, a person's status, their job. No, no one is greater. When we have the power within to bless somebody, to give from the heart that God has given us, let us do it. And what I love about God, God shows in his word, and this is in Cain and Abel. I'm going to read the story. And this is in um, Genesis chapter 4, and it's verse I'm sorry, Genesis 4, chapter um, chapter 4, chapter 5, I'm sorry. And it says, And the fact thereof, and the Lord had respect unto Abel to his offering, but unto Cain and his offering he had not respect. And Cain was very wroth, that means Cain was upset, and he was wroth, and his contest fell. And the Lord said unto him, Came art thou well, and why are your conscience falling? It means, why are you acting this way, Cain? Why are you, why are you like grumbling and complaining? And here it is. If thou doest well, should thou not be accepted? And if thou do not well, sin be at the door. Okay, I'm going to break this. This is a King James Version, but I'm going to break it to you down and, and I should read the NIV version so you can understand it. God is saying, if, if you don't give from the heart that God gave you, don't get spiritually or stingy. Give it your best because Cain and Abel are brothers. One brother gave from the best of his offerings. Like we give tithes. We give, you give people your best. So I'm administering to all of us. I'm just saying, we give God the best, and we give God the best, the glory, honor, praise, but God is watching how we treat the people around us. You know, God says in the word of God, to love thy neighbor with all thy heart, soul, and strength, and love thy neighbor, love thy neighbor, love God with all thy heart, soul, and strength, and love thy neighbor as stuff. And God also have a, a, a God, and God's word is true. It says, honor thy mother and father for your ladies belong. God also said, husband, love your wife like life, love the church, and wife, um, reverence and respect your husband. God also said, children, obey your parents, you know, because God is telling us how to live in his living word. But the reason why I'm, I'm focusing on when you give, you got to give with the heart God. God says, when you give, you should receive. And when you give, you're not even think about what to give. But one thing I'm learning as I'm listening to the God and I'm meditating on his word, we cannot think of selfishness. And when we think about what is best for us, instead of what is best for, I'll, I'll give you an example. If you see an old, old woman or old, old man and they can't hardly walk or they can't hardly talk, wouldn't you want to help that old woman, old man, if you're able to do that? You, you give it wholeheartedly. Or if you see someone who may be blind and they can't walk across the street, wouldn't you wholeheartedly, you give, you say, can I help you across the street? And sometimes they not mean not act but we should at least offer our services you know the word god said god said he love a cheerful giver let us all be a cheerful giver let us not give because of the way of a person look or if we're going to get something back for them god wants to give from the heart 
You see, the word of God said, man, look at the outward appearance, but he look at the heart. I'm ministering because I'm speaking to this vessel first. We got to give joyfully like Cain and Abel. Now, one of the brothers I saw was so furious because he gave stingily. He gave selfishly, but one brother gave it all. And, and I'm going to read again in uh, Genesis chapter 4 and verse number 7. And thou do his work, should thou be accepted? And thou do not well, had thou the door unto thee, should he be desired, and thou rule over him. And Cain talked with Abel his brother, and it came to pass when they was in the fear. Now, these are brothers because of one brother gave more, and God set that offering because that brother gave all he got. To God, the Lord, it says, and I'm continuing with verse number eight, said, and Cain talked with Abel, his brother, and it came to pass when they was in the field, and Cain rose against Abel, his brother, and slew him. Cain killed his brother. Cain killed his brother because of jealousy. Cain killed his brother Abel because Abel did what's right. When you're doing something, jealousy and selfishness is one of the, the one of the things that stop anyone from getting closer to God. You see, God says He loves a cheerful gift. Give from your heart. Don't give because a person is good looking. Don't give because you could get something back. Don't even give because that person treats you nicely. Give from the heart of the God. God says, honor thy mother and your father so your days will long. That's a commandment. God said, husband, love your wife, have your wife love your children. Wives, submit to your husband. Um, respect your husband. Children, obey your parents. God has those words in order. And it also says, I'm serving um, to your master, like your boss. You don't take advantage of your boss. But God has those things in order. And when we get out of order, what comes is jealousy, strife. And we don't want our heart to ever have anything in it that stop us from getting closer to God. So let's all give with a generous heart. Give to your mother, give to your father, give to your sisters, your brother. Give with your heart. Don't give seriously. Give joyfully. Because if we do something, if it not means we can do it, we should do it with joy. We should not think about self and die to this flesh. Okay, I, I just had to share that today. I mean, you know, Cain and Abel were brothers, and one brother killed the other brother because of jealousy, and one brother gave an offering, gave all the best to God, the other brother gave stingily, and God said, love and children, let's give for the heart, let's give, let's honor. God says he cared for the poor. Those who care for the poor, bless you, care for the poor. Think about somebody beside this flesh. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. I miss it. Where we want that is it. I want to thank you all for listening. Read the word of God, everyone. It speaks to our heart and our soul and our mind is renewed and fresh. Read God's word. Okay, everyone. Thank you all for listening. And don't forget, God is good. And don't forget, God loves a cheerful living. Let's give from the heart. Yeah, love you guys. Thank you for listening.